It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in this video, I want to talk about Artemis and a no tank, no problem team that I've been playing around with, just toying around with it for a little while. Artemis is unique in that, well, not really unique, I guess. Artemis is interesting in that she has more pressure, more damage, the longer the fight goes on. She's very similar to Kark in that regard. Kark, once he gets his first kill, he he just gets stronger and stronger as the, as the fight continues. Of course, the problem with Kark is at the end, sometimes he has problem finishing the fight. And so, uh, in, in many ways, because of Artemis's new ascension skills that she got uh, late last year, she's actually a much better version of Kark. And I know that's just a, that's a reach. That's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison here, but, uh, I really like Artemis. I think that uh, people people are sleeping on Artemis, and I think that people are scared to level her up because they think about the fact that she's a uh, she's a critical hit hero, and because of that, she's countered by a lot of the same things that critical hit heroes are countered by, uh, such as Helios and Amira. And they think about well, Yasmin probably is just a better single target damage dealer. Yasmin's just a better critical hit hero. So if I'm going to level up a critical hit hero, or I'm going to level up a physical attacker hero, why would I level Artemis whenever I can level up Yasmin or Dante? Uh, or Kira or even Kark, but in this video I want to show you a fight that proves that you don't necessarily need to worry about enemy Helios. I do want to remind everybody that we're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so stick around if you want to win a 30 artifact chest key pack or a 3 portal charge pack. We're going to be pulling a random name for the sweepstakes at the end of this video, but let's kind of get into this uh, a little bit more in depth. <laughs> Artemis sits kind of far to the back, right? She sits a little bit further back, so she's kind of protected, but she charges a little slower, but that's okay. She's got this ability right here. It's a lot of enemies. Shoots out 10 arrows and does some damage. It's a low attack modifier, but the amount of arrows that goes out. Now, this is a problem versus heroes like Corvus versus dodge enemies like Aurora, Dante, Yasmin, etc. And it's absolutely going to be a problem if a lot of those are critical hits versus Helios. Smart Arrow is an area of effect attack as well. Again, another big problem problem against enemy Corvus's true light is a blind for three seconds it's also a little little damage deal as well so kind of a soft counter to physical attacking teams that use their damage dealer in the front line like Dante's or Kark's or Kira's or even Yasmin's and then finally we have this violet ability for each 10,000 damage that Artemis takes she gains a damage bonus now between this ability right here and her ascension when deadly shower is triggered that's her ultimate ability Artemis fires seven more arrows so every time Artemis alts she sends out plus seven arrows so 10 17 and then uh, 24 and so on and so on and so on and then the smart arrow actually heals her a little bit which isn't a big heal but sometimes it's enough so yesterday i came across this team in arena and uh, server 25 is an older server you know not the, not one of the oldest servers for sure but definitely an older server so you see a lot of classic teams like this and uh, while you don't see a lot of odhs you do definitely see a lot of helioses the big issue with helios countering critical hit heroes is you need enough magic penetration uh, so you either either use uh, Merlin on Helios or you need Orion or Faceless or somebody else to boost Helios's magic penetration in order to do enough damage to some heroes that have a lot of health or a lot of magic defense or or whatever. So I thought this would be a fun example to take a look at in guild training to see just how effective my no tank no problem build would be against a pretty classic ODH that's Orion Dorian Helios lineup. So take this for what you will. This is max testing on Hero Wars Facebook and. I Obviously, there's a huge counter at the front there in the hero, Isaac. Uh, Isaac is something that everybody should be leveling up anyway. He's probably the most important hero to level up right now. Of course, I'm using Artemis. Sebastian is really, really strong paired with Artemis because it boosts the pure damage output that she can do. Technically, Sebastian is the one doing the pure damage, but every time Artemis does a critical hit, Sebastian tacks on a little bit of pure damage on top. And then, of course, Dorian is the key member of this lineup <clears throat> so let's watch this fight real quick the idea is that the non-tank lineup here is interchangeable so in this instance against the team that's not doing a lot of front end physical attack damage but it's doing a lot of area of effect magic damage i'm safe to use isaac as my tank I'm using sebastian to counter jorgen i'm using dorian to keep my team alive artemis is doing so much damage 
And Dorian is healing her up so much because of his vampiric aura that this other team doesn't have a chance to respond. Just doesn't have a chance to respond at all. Let's, let's look at this fight one more time. It is, uh, it is a very, very short fight. Very akin to some of the Blender teams that we used to see. That is, uh, you know, Kira, Sebastian, Jet. Uh, of course, you don't need Jet in this lineup. And really, you don't need Jet on Hero Wars Facebook and Web anyway. Because Sebastian provides critical hit chance. And of course, Artemis has her own built-in critical hit and her own built-in armor penetration which is a big reason why i like artemis a lot so really fantastic win there you know against a classic team and your mileage is certainly going to vary is this enemy going to have a better chance if maybe sebastian was there if maybe a different healer was there maybe if this was just another lineup with helios slotted in there's a lot of different variations that you can use if you're going up against a physical attacking team then instead of the uh, the hero isaac you could use anvari if you're going up against a uh, a thick control team you can use maya as a tank which i'll show you in just a second you can use uh, marcus if you need bonus healing maybe as a, as a defensive lineup and you certainly should use five heroes uh in in your team i just kind of use this as an example to show you how easy it is to defeat helios lineups with an Artemis team. Now, speaking of that Maya tank situation, for whatever reason, a bunch of other content creators today made videos on how to counter Rufus, Dante, Arachne lineups. And while they're both very interesting, you should go check out ever, uh, you know, the other YouTubers. It doesn't seem like that that team is much of a problem if you uh, if you use Maya as a tank. Uh, Maya tank, and of course, Heidi is really, really good against Dante. I thought I would throw him in there just for the fun, uh, just to have a fifth hero in there, as it were. And then of course, the same lineup of Sebastian, Artemis, and Dorian. I'm sure that somebody has already called this the sad lineup. You know, Sebastian, Artemis, Dorian. But I'm going to call this the no tank, no problem lineup. That's what. That's the team name that I'm going to give this right here. And you can see that I was able to defeat it, even with the magic and pure damage that I'm throwing at that enemy Rufus. And I'm not using a Morgan, you know, so it is possible. You know, a, a lot of strategies to defeat this lineup and you can go watch those videos if you want. But, you know, using Morgan to counter Rufus, using a Kane pet to counter Rufus, uh, you know, just killing everybody else and then manually playing the heroes until you uh, counter Rufus is kind of how this team went. This, this lineup is kind of really weak to my Artemis team with the exception, of course, to Rufus, who uh, came down to the very end on whether I can kill him. Uh, in the correct timing or not. And while we're here, while we are talking about the, the Dante, Arachne, Rufus lineup, I think everybody's overthinking this. Just use Kark. Just use Kark, it's fine. Just just use Kark. Don't need Morgan. Basic Kark lineup, you know, pretty basic, I guess. You could use Faceless here instead of Kai, you know, for some stuns. But I used Kai to just up the difficulty since Kai is a, a lot of magic attacks really fast to uh, uh, kind of cause the enemy Rufus to respawn or revive himself over and over again. But yeah, just use Kark and you can easily counter this lineup. Hope you found this video educational, uh, a little bit interesting, uh, a little bit entertaining. If you did, please consider leaving a like. We do Hero Wars and Hero Wars mobile videos every single day, sometimes twice a day. We also live stream Monday through Friday. We're gonna be live streaming today at 12 p.m. Central Time, that is 5 p.m. UTC. We'll talk more about the No Tank, No Problem team. We'll talk more about the Rufus, Dante, Arachne lineup. But now let's do a sweepstakes. We're gonna pull a name at random from the most recent Facebook and web-specific video. And in order to enter into the sweepstakes, you have to be a Facebook and web-specific player. I draw your name at random, you get a hold of me over on Discord. That's it. We figure out which prize that you want. I send it to you. You win. Let's see how many unique commenters we had. We had 135 unique commenters. I believe this was the Artemis versus Kira free to play video that we're uh, referencing here. I, I do apologize. I'm not going to try to pronounce your name there, but congratulations for winning today's sweepstakes. Please get a hold of me over on Discord. A link to my Discord is in the description box down below. If you're interested in that video, uh, the free to play Artemis team that is better than the free to play Kira team, check out the video that's on screen now. Now. It's a little older, but it still holds up. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.